which is titled Demonstrations on how to prepare and run an NV simulation with Gromax on a supercomputer. And I believe uh, Peicho is going to lead us through that. So, um... <sighs> okay, uh, before uh, we reach the stage at uh, which we will run some simulations, uh, first, uh, remind uh, those who are not uh, familiar with uh, Lin command prompt, what are the uh, mostly used commands uh, for uh, navigating file system, work with files, uh, with files. Mm. Why we need that? Uh, first of all, uh, all uh, supercomputers I uh, I know uh, they work under uh, some uh, Linux distribution. That's why the the act we have uh, to the to a Linux command prompt and uh, through it. Uh, where we uh, submit commands and uh, do the, the, the job we want to do. Uh, moreover, as you already have seen, uh, Gromax uh, interface uh, command line. We execute uh, commands and uh, control the execution uh, via setting command line options and parameters. Uh, and uh, for listing in the um, uh, in the current directory is wd. Uh, it's the current directory. You can make directory, but mkdir uh, or, or erase uh, or directories recursively, uh, copy files, directories recursively, uh, name, uh, create soft links, uh, create empty, empty file with touch, uh, display, uh, the content of the file uh, on the standard output uh, or more convenient uh, uh, command is less, navigate, uh, scroll and down, uh, head and tail commands, uh, print uh, some from the beginning or at the end of the, of the file. And finally, tail minus F, uh, uh, we can display file uh, Y changed. <sighs> connect, uh, connect, uh, if we want to uh, connect to the computer uh, or server remotely, we use uh, secure shell or SSH, um, Linux uh, command line uh, client that the command is uh, SSH and then uh, if, uh, you, you, is, you will uh, use the username, uh, current username, you just uh, type SSH or with uh, some other username, SSH username uh, at uh, uh, host. Sometimes for security reasons, uh, SSH servers on the machine accept connections on the, uh, and then the default port. Uh, default port for SSH is 22. Uh, if you want to use other than, uh, default uh, value of the port uh, you can specify it uh, by minus p uh, minus p options 
option. Uh, if we want to uh, transfer file uh, from the local file to the uh, uh, file system of the remote uh, server, we can use uh, either uh, SF client, which is FTP protocol uh, secured by uh, SSH uh, encryption, uh, or use uh, S command, which behaves in the same way, uh, CP copy command uh, in Linux, despite uh, uh, you can specify, you should specify the, uh, the server you want to transfer uh, files or from. Uh, other useful tool, uh, rsync, it's usually used for uh, backup, uh, to backup some, uh, file system, it preserves uh, user timestamps if uh, is set and uh, it can uh, uh, compress the data for sending and uh, then uh, uncompress them when they arrive uh, to the local machine. Uh, it is, it's happened behind us, but uh, you can, sometimes you can uh, improvement in the, in the uh, speed that you are transferring the, the, the files with. Okay. Uh, what is uh, the general picture? Uh, one uh, high performance uh, usually has computing resources, computing, computing nodes and uh, storage. Uh, storage is visible uh, uh, from the nodes and uh, we have access to those uh, to those uh, via login node. Uh, usually uh, on the login node you uh, want uh, communicate batch system, uh, scheduling uh, jobs, to be executed uh, on the resources uh, as it was yesterday. Um, and uh, the batch system controls the, the jobs, uh, the execution time, uh, resources to be uh, reserved for jobs and uh, many, many technical, uh, uh, technical things. Uh, to be done. So, uh, we, if you want to use an HP system, uh, usually uh, administrators system give the user access to the law and uh, uh, some permissions to use uh, uh, use or uh, partitions defined in the bus system uh, to use some uh, resources. This is uh, the general idea and, the, and this connection here from your local machine uh, to the login nodes uh, is usually uh, via uh, Okay. Uh, some uh, helpful information for newcomers. Um, if uh, uh, if you want to uh, use nickname for your connection uh, on the desired port with uh, uh, name to uh, remove. This can be specified in the .ssh directory in your home directory in a config file. You can just with the nickname of the connection. Uh, and here you can um, 
describe uh, the mood host you want to connect to, uh, username, if, uh, if you need to use some public key, uh, oh, this is not, a, uh, that's my mistake. That's my mistake. This is not a public key. I'm sorry. This is, oh. This is, your private key. Okay, uh, let me let me share it again. I'm sorry. Uh, share. Okay, uh, where here is your private key. The pub the public key is in the uh, directory on your uh, remote. And uh, sometimes uh, you can uh, use SSH uh, to some other machine if it's needed. Uh, then you can do local forward. It, in general, one can use those uh, five, uh, five lines uh, to make uh, <laughs> to make it more convenient not to 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 every time the the the, the entire uh, the entire uh, host name the ip of the remote machine batch system uh, uh, submitting jobs and, uh, yesterday you saw how to do it uh, uh, with the uh, torque uh, torque scheduler or uh, to torque uh, bad job system here today we will use slurm uh, in this way uh, this example file we can describe describe the job uh, it's convenient to set the, the the name of the job the partition you want resources from uh, how many nodes uh, what is uh, the wall time uh, the job uh, that uh, can be kept active and uh, uh, files where the standard error and standard the standard output of the job uh, will be uh, and uh, uh, the last uh, uh, lines the following lines just uh, uh, you can uh, take it as a um, as a normal shell script which describes a, a sequence of uh, commands um, to um, that uh, the job consists of uh, many uh, in many cases uh, uh, predefined uh, environmental variables uh, are loaded via model model system uh, for instance which color to use which uh, mpi library uh, even the software package you want to use can be uh, defined in way uh, once you load the environment uh, then you can uh, execute the commands uh, here the script this is uh, more uh, the basic interaction with an HPC system. Uh, do you have uh, Do you have any uh, any questions? Uh, if uh, not, if uh, it's not the uh, then let me uh, start. Let 
produce you the system. Uh, show this example. This will be a uh, full eight uh, set. Uh, it, uh, ha it has uh, uh, active site defined here in, uh, it has uh, uh, 24 amino acid residue negatively charged and 21 negatively charged. Uh, so the, uh, the, the, the net charge of the molecule is uh, plus three. Uh, then we will uh, execute some uh, sequence of things we already uh, discussed and we'll, uh, show you uh, I, I will show how this is this is done. Mm -hmm. And let's start with with connecting to the gene. Um, just want to share another desktop. Okay. Okay. First, uh, we will connect to uh, HPC system. Uh, the one is located in Ulich uh, Supercomputing Center. Uh, this is deepest uh, type system. It consists of uh, uh, three modules, cost extreme scale booster module and data module. I've decided to uh, to conduct the practical set because here we have uh, uh, actual uh, cluster-like system or uh, system axis with accelerated uh, with uh, uh, GP, GPU. Okay, and uh, how it goes, just type SSH D by all uh, defined uh, in the in the manner I, I've already shown uh, the, the system and now it uh, asks for the password of my private. Then we have prompt here. This is the this is my uh, home home directory. Uh, we will work in work trace demo. Uh, are some uh, files I just uh, compiled for the latest uh, the latest uh, uh, version and uh, uh, the place where uh, we will execute uh, our commands on uh, machine. On the local machine, we have a directory where the initial structure uh, and from uh, PDB uh, and then refined uh, is located. This is the structure I will use. Uh, MD for uh, visualizing uh, visualizing the uh, coordinates and uh, this this is the the structure without uh, without hydrogens 
now we need to we can proceed uh, uh, either by manipulating structure gromax locally or remotely uh, because uh, some of uh, uh, many people i know use uh, your um, working which runs under windows uh, they uh, they prefer executing all of the uh, command uh, uh, all of the command for uh, preparing the structure input files and so on uh, remotely i will i will proceed in the, uh, but of course, if uh, you, the resources of your workstation or laptop are sufficient, you can you can do do that uh, locally. Now uh, we uh, need we need to send the send the structure to the remote machine. Uh, of course, uh, I can use. Uh, SCP uh, and then uh, and then the file name uh, deep and then uh, the directory which I can copy here and send it again. It uh, asks for the pass pass phase um, of the private key and so on uh, or uh, I can use graphical uh, environment uh, graphical environment to uh, uh, open the directory it can be done file explore explorer go to other locations connect to server page and then the directory uh, unable to access host in just a moment this is uh, deep why because to put this here okay uh, now uh, before because the password is already already regist registered, uh, we see the remote uh, direct the content of the remote uh, directory. Of course, uh, here is the same, and in this way I can just uh, copy structure there. Then. then once we have the structure there we can um, uh, edit, uh, the, the the pdb uh, to gmx command uh, to parameterize the system get the topology and uh, coordinates first uh, if uh, if uh, you uh, you can use uh, different versions of Max and which one uh, will be active now is uh, set by sourcing uh, one uh, file for setting the environments and it is uh, it like this sort uh, this is in Gromax uh, computer model bin GMX. If you uh, you will use one uh, particular version, many times you can just put in your in your Bash RC script or TC shell Bash TC shell script uh, resource script and so forth. Now. Uh, we can uh, we have uh, already uh, defined GMX 
front and we can start. You don't need to remember all of the options by heart. Uh, you just need to know what to do in general. Uh, PDB to GMX, uh, to GMX command uh, has options that I try to describe them, but uh, you can use the use the help uh, just um, this is uh, this this is because uh, i have uh, uh, i have to specify the uh, compiler environment and uh, and the uh, parallel uh, parallel environment uh, parallel libraries para, uh, this is para station it depends uh, on the uh, on the particular machine you are going, and now you you have a, a very nice uh, description what the the tool does, um, uh, uh, peculiarity, and uh, here you can see the input uh, files, uh, the op specifying input files, out files, uh, so on. Uh, and so forth. Uh, in this example, we'll use uh, Charm 36 force field. You can download it from Charm uh, website. They, they have uh, their prepared archives with the, uh, with the files uh, already working uh, with you just uh, enter archive here and you can uh, use it like uh, the, in the same way I will do pdb uh, to gmx minus f our uh, initial structure minus o uh, we can set it for instance ff pdb and then it will ask about the which uh, force field to be used. Uh, this is the field located in the in the in the cur uh, current working directory, and uh, there are other installation directory already shared. Uh, you can use according to your uh, flavor and uh, mm, in the simulation you do. Here we we just type one, and then it asks for the water model. Uh, it was mentioned uh, that uh, uh, force fields uh, are compatible are, are com compatible with uh, uh, compatible with all water models. Uh, in this case, uh, PDB to GMX helps you as uh, uh, says uh, that this is this is recommended, and uh, of course this is compatible with uh, Charm uh, force fields. With it has Leonard Jones, Jones on the hydrogen atoms as is done for the proteins. Uh, so we here one and then. Uh, we have successfully generated the topology. Now we have topology, uh, some include topology file where position restraint uh, at, are, which, are, which will be subject on the position and are defined and the um, coordinate file with the responding names. Uh, uh, according uh, according to the force field and coordinates taken from the input configuration, uh, and not to forget uh, there are hydrogens added uh, because the initial structure was without hydrogens. Uh, we want to have a look at it. We just uh, get it, look, and. Uh, and just see by VMD, which is FF 
uh, PDB. And here you can see that uh, the, the white, uh, the, the, uh, the white lines are newly added uh, hydrogens. Mm. What uh, should be mentioned here that uh, uh, PDB to JMX explains uh, what uh, protonation state of the histidine will uh, use according to the environment. Uh, here, uh, the distance matrices and uh, uh, the disulfide bonds uh, that are introduced. The big, by default, the terminus are pro, N terminus protonated and C terminus is deprotonated, uh, which is uh, the, the, what happened uh, neutral conditions. People often ask uh, to uh, how to um, uh, set the uh, of the uh, of the solvent or the simulation box. Uh, this is done by. Uh, by uh, calculating the Ka of the um, groups and uh, set uh, their protonation, protonation states according to the desired pH. As you know, uh, proteins uh, chain, uh, pro ionized amino acids change their protonation states according to the, uh, to the pH of the environment. Uh, now we have uh, uh, price the structure, uh, how the topology looks like. You can see uh, here, uh, you can check the case if the, um, if the force field is properly, uh, properly set, then uh, the the, the, more, the protein molecule has one chain and its name protein chain D. Uh, the atoms, uh, you can check uh, if the total charge is okay. Uh, it's very, very useful uh, to look at the commands here. Uh, the, this is a uh, character uh, or symbol denotes that uh, those, uh, the, the following, uh, the next characters are not, uh, symbols are not taken, which is, uh, this is comment, uh, comment sign uh, in the topology form. And you can see that uh, the total plus Three. Here are the bonds. Uh, function one means uh, and so on. Uh, the end uh, of the file, you can see the restrain uh, topology, which is included if we specify, we define phosphor as string. Uh, the water topology if we want to restrain position of the water, uh, we can define here uh, and the ions topology, the name of the system, and uh, the, in the box there is one, one, one copy of this molecule. Okay, uh, now we will, we will assign the box. Uh, GMX did conf minus F, FF minus box dot PDB. Uh, then 
the minimum distance, let's put it one, two, uh, and minus D centers the, the protein uh, in the box. And if you want to uh, and uh, the principal axis with the box vectors, you can uh, put uh, prince uh, command line option. Then we can just execute the command. And here, uh, the system size is calculated. Uh, the, the center of the system, it is uh, manipulated both uh, vectors and the volume. Uh, we want to set the, uh, with the center and the coordinates of the center in Gromax are uh, and uh, on the half of the um, of the box vectors, the molecule is shifted uh, by by this uh, displacements here. The new center is located here. New box vectors. Just a moment. I forgot to specify cubic. This is the box type and. Uh, box vectors and uh, of the system. You can experiment, of course, we can uh, put uh, uh, hadron box, then you can see in, in the, 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 the difference here is 430, and uh, here we have uh, 558. This is the advantage there that we were talking uh, talking about. Uh, just uh, due to um, uh, for just yes, I will work uh, with uh, cubic cubic box uh, because otherwise uh, I will need uh, to post process uh, uh, the coordinate file to to to. Uh, of the of the box and that's why i will use cubic box the other useful thing is that uh, the the modified the modified uh, uh, files if uh, the, the the there is file with the same name presented in the in the directory or specified as an output is uh, backed uh, with this science, uh, and you can you can go go back uh, if you if you want. Okay, now we have we have uh, placed uh, the protein in the box. So we can have a look, and I I just encourage you. Uh, at each step, it's, it's better. It's better to. Uh, it's better to 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 see what what happens with with your system uh, box PDB. You can't see the box, but if you execute PBS box here. The, the box will be drawn, and this is uh, how the protein is uh, placed. Uh, uh, everything look, uh, looks uh, okay. And then we can continue. Uh, we, we can continue with. Uh, Adding uh, and solvent to the um, uh, in the in the simulation box. This uh, can be done by uh, GMX uh, solvate minus CP. This solute, um, which is box 
dot pdb uh, minus cs is the file uh, which uh, will be used to to the box with uh, with the solvent uh, if uh, you are uh, you are curious and uh, we can in the gromax directory in installation directory and see what is uh, what is it it is uh, share gromax uh, top and uh, here we have uh, this file which is nothing else than a box uh, with uh, this number of atoms uh, and uh, this used as a template uh, to fill the, the, the box with. Uh, default uh, uh, default gmx sol solvate minus x po this no this is not the the pro the, the, the proper version it is uh, for gpus uh work uh praise demo gromax uh, cp cm bin gmx okay uh here it i did that to, sh to show you an ml uh new compiler uh para, para station mpi uh gcc uh okay uh uh the the, the option the option here minus cs by default this is the file we uh, have been looking at and uh, this is placed in the uh, gmx uh, lib there okay uh, which means that if uh, we use uh, spc uh, water as it you don't we don't need to specify uh the argument of uh, this option then uh, water box db and we want to modify the topology topology top is not needed uh because by by default uh minus p option looks for the top uh, file um, then we 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 can see the report is the volume what is the density uh, how many molecules are added to the topology uh, i uh, showed in in the example we have added this number of water molecules. okay let's let's look at the coordinates file uh, which is water bb then uh, here water uh, water box pdb uh, and you can see here uh, the box is uh, filled uh, with uh, uh, with what was, uh, of course PBC box we can draw the box again and here everything is clear mm. 
afraid of these atoms which are out of the box due to periodic uh, boundary conditions uh, those atom will be just translated on the right uh, of the box if you want to uh, display the periodic images just to see if everything fits you can use uh, vmd and then up and down see everything looks everything looks very uh, and of course yeah it it is it is okay now uh, then we need to add uh, ions uh, let me I have defined by me which uh, erases the backup files uh, uh, we will use gen ion command you can see that the the tpr file uh, portable uh, portable uh, binary input here need to we need to create it how uh, invoking gmx pp command gromax script processor uh, just a moment cage which takes gromax parameters file uh, coordinates uh, the solvated system uh, if we use position restraints we will we need to uh, supply coordinate file again and uh, so on and so forth the only uh, only mandatory input are configuration and the uh, uh, gromax parameters for that, uh, we, will use, uh, we will use uh, an empty uh, L by default looks for grompp.mdp. Uh, be uh, careful, uh, check uh, if uh, the file the file is is empty if you uh, you can you can use the touch command uh, to change the time attributes for instance touch to pull top and uh, here you can see uh, that uh, the the mod the, the modification time but nothing nothing is uh, a change in the file that's why it is not very dangerous to invoke this command uh on already existing file uh i mean if the timestamp is not important then gmx uh, grom pp c uh we need waterbox.pdb topology which is to pull top and uh we have some warnings because uh we uh, supply uh, just empty parameters file and everything there have has uh, value again it, this is uh, uh, it's not uh, to, to, to remember the molecular the parameter parameters by heart because you can uh, just use this out mdp file which is output file uh, parameters set by uh, by the by and then uh, here you can see the the complete set uh, of uh, parameters and uh, you to know what you want to set and modify 
uh, and you can you can produce this file uh, any uh, you want. Okay, we have to pull TPR file and we can use it as in for the genium genium command minus s. Uh, of course, the, to pull TPR default name, there is no need to specify it, but uh, some of you uh, see this procedure for the first, and it's uh, better just to, to have in mind that uh, such files are, are needed. Uh, okay, then uh, we can see the the gen ion here is the input um, you if some index file is needed uh you can supply it a topology topology file to be modified and the uh, output structure will be re written uh, in the file with the name uh, defined with minus o option okay uh, here you can see the default P with P name and N name. We set the names of the of uh, with PQ and NQ. We set the charge of the uh, positive and negative ions actively. And uh, if you want uh, to modify this distance here, this is to an iron uh, and non non solvent uh, molecules this process uh, this uh, tool generates randomly such as randomly uh, and if you want to set the seat of the random generators you can do it by this and then the two options uh, which are uh, very convenient if you want to just to set the concentration and neutralize, uh, you can use uh, concentration, uh, the, the 0. Uh, in per liter and uh, neutral. Then we want to modify the topology. The output is water box with 0. 0.15. PDB. It asks uh, uh, which is uh, your solvent uh, solvent group. By default, it's called Sol. S O L here from solvent, and we just type there thirteen. Uh, you can see what solvent molecules are substituted with the ions uh, to need some other ions to be specified uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can you can look here for instance uh, just a moment. Uh, it is in the force field we are using IITP, and here you have uh, uh, defined sodium ions, uh, potassium, uh, cesium, chlorine. Calcium uh, and zinc are available at the moment. This force field. So if you want to uh, to put other types of ions, uh, just need to specify P name and, uh, for instance, zinc. Uh, okay. This is uh, 
Thus, we have uh, topology modified accordingly. Here we have added uh, some uh, and uh, of course we can have a look, uh, have a look at, the, um, at the coordinate uh, coordinate file vmd uh, water uh, sorry okay my fault and uh, of course we can visualize the protein for instance protein they then create another representation ions and here we can see van der Waals and you can see uh, how the ions are placed they are placed randomly and the distance between solid uh, and the uh, and the ions is at least uh, six angstrom as it was defined uh, uh, by the by default argument pre, pre uh, of uh, gen ion two okay here uh, almost uh, everything now uh, we need to uh, minimize the energy uh, and we will need one mdp fi file uh, we can just modify the file if uh, we wish but there are many lines in it lines in it and usually uh, just uh, uh, once you do some simulation you you prepare your your mdp and use it use it next time uh, and change parameters accordingly uh, i will call it em mdp uh, okay em mdp what we can hear um, we define flexible water and uh, imposition restrain on the crystal structure uh, we will keep it restrained until uh, we end up uh, with the heating ramp then we use a uh, steep integrator and uh, tolerance which is t uh, for demonstration is uh, let's put it let's put it here uh, something like 200 just uh, just to make more to, to make the patient faster it will get well equilibrated and then how we treat the interactions uh, we use uh, uh, pme for home interactions uh, treatment and uh, switching function for verle uh, for the bander then uh, here is the switching radius and the van der Waals radius uh, the neighborless radius for constructing air list is 1.2 and every tenth the the planets will be written in the uh, in the trajectory then uh what uh, in this is uh because this is just energy minimization uh, there is no temperature defined pressure and so on and so forth okay and uh, this is the mdp file 
x uh, uh, grom pp minus f uh, water box uh, minus em minus c is coordinate file minus p is the topology and uh, output file will be named em uh, because we have uh, position restraint uh, we need to specify the coordinates again it, uh, and uh, it's uh, very uh, important uh, to read the warning notes uh, because uh, sometimes uh, uh, some parameters can be set uh, wrongly or not accurate enough and so on and so forth uh, here we have only note that uh, the the data the, the output uh, file will be about 60 uh, 16 megabytes do all these uh, steps but uh, it will come the, the the procedure will converge faster than that okay and we need to uh, describe a running uh, gromax uh, on the machine we will use uh, computer uh, cluster model which consists of CPU nodes uh, connected by infinite band switching network uh, account uh, uh, which uh, will be um, the, the the time will be taken uh, and uh, the reservation thank uh not i should not forget to to thank to thank to um estella dr estella and uh peter neeson from gsc for um providing us uh, some uh, resources uh, to uh, make this demonstration uh, possible and we will run it on what let's put there 24 tasks because there are uh, 20 cores and each core has about two two threads as far as i remember but uh, you will see that uh, the log file gromax will tell us uh, uh, what is what is the architecture machine uh if uh, you need to do it correctly you just go to the description uh here and uh, you can see the uh sockets uh, the uh zeon gold this version and so forth uh, okay uh, working with slurm there are commands uh, for see the info info about about the partitions as if here you can see the partitions defined how many partitions uh, uh, what uh, how many nodes are uh, allocated how many are idle uh, drain and so on and so forth is uh, this is the information uh, uh, slurm gives us uh, if you if you have a reservation uh, s control show reservations and we use this this reservation. here we take this name and put it put it here 
usually uh, you don't you don't need use reservation anytime today we, it's it is exceptional just, just to sure that uh, we will have enough resources to uh, to do this de demonstration usually uh, you just submit uh, the job in the queue and it uh, way and what happened with the queue you can see with sq command here uh, there there is a job id every job submitted uh, to the system uh, has a, a unique identifier this is the idea which partition partition uh, the resources on each partition are, are requested the name user the status r means uh, time elapsed time how many nodes and which nodes okay. then as batch we can submit uh, submit and uh, have a again cf means uh, that uh, the the job is configuring now and if you want to uh, see only your jobs in the queue uh, the option is minus uh, you of course you uh, if you don't want uh, you to remember your name because there is uh, Linux command uh, which is uh, who am I and it is which you username you are locked in or you can do it like this uh, output uh, who am I and give it to the mine option ah the job uh, has finished this is the out output here you can see the because uh, the i have set minus v option which means verbose uh, the uh, information which is uh, at what step what placement uh, what is the potential energy forces and uh, the most important uh, uh, is to have converge minimization converge minimization procedure according to the criteria set uh, yes the the other output file this is uh, em are uh, where the energy uh, uh, saved uh, we can uh, see the the energy using uh, em energy to minus f em er and we just want to uh, plot the potential energy which means Team empty, and of course, we can download it here. Uh, where is where is it? Energy XVG, the default name, and it can be analyzed by GMX uh, by uh, XM Grace command energy xvg and you can see here how the potential and uh, is uh, minimized with the steps okay we have uh, minimized the system now we need to do heating and uh, equilibration of the solvent uh, we can do it by uh, this uh, AQPR uh, MDP file.
Uh, okay, we have uh, we, with this, as you know, we say that we will uh, restrain the positions of the uh, heavy at in the protein. Uh, this is the initial time simulation time, which is integrator is uh, lead from, and we will do uh, about 400 uh for uh, picoseconds here uh, we uh, write the position every uh, one every picosecond uh, and uh, the uh, parameters of the iterator are the same this is nvt simulation here we have four thermal coupled to the uh, both of ion, of ions, uh, solvent and the protein. Uh, and uh, since uh, this is done in T, pressure coupling is set to no. Uh, okay, then uh, we take the minimized structure, which is EM uh, grow as a initial uh, coordinates of the next simulation minus C EM grow, then uh, topology, then uh, AQ PR O. Uh, Call it AQPR here. Again, I because of the uh, we need to set this one here. You can see that uh, they are uh, not not warning uh, non. Uh, and uh, again, we need to submit the job uh, shell uh, here. Ah, I need to new em sh. Uh, I need to copy copy the reservation. Uh, here, okay. Uh, and let's have a look at look at it again. Uh, uh, let's try on uh, four four eight. Uh, Eight tasks per node, and uh, six p uh, uh, six open m per uh, per MPI task. This is uh, the way uh, we tell the tell Slurm uh, how many um, how how many MPI want to run and how many threads to be associated with the uh, with the tasks. Uh, then we just uh, submit EQPR uh, H. Now with tail minus f we can monitor the output you can see here because we told to gromax to be verbose it tells us uh, what is the imbalance imbalance in force calculated between pme and uh, pp nodes uh, what is the current time step and uh, what uh, what estimated time uh, 
when the uh, simulation will simulation will end. Okay, uh, we have uh, some time uh, question. Just let me check if there are questions in the chat. I pass <clears throat> from Jamshed asking whether you could uh, have a little bit more position strengths. So how could you have the one place, say, position strength, selectively, say, on a ligand and not on a sort of protein or some other kind of area? Okay, okay. Let me let me clarify that. Uh, just a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, set in the uh, topology. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. This section here in topology position restraints. We just which atom atom with which index what type of the constraint type one meaning and what is the force constant in uh, in the along higgs uh, y and z uh, and uh, this uh, uh, constant uh, can be uh, varied uh, 100 thousand uh, does uh, x is not too too tight. Is not too loose. Uh, if you do very nice equilibration, uh, you can uh, decrease uh, decrease in steps uh, the force constant. For instance, one thousand logarithmically one thousand uh, one hundred ten, and then without restraint. Uh, this number here. This is the, the index uh, which of the of the of the atoms defined in the molecule topology here. Uh, five is this atom and uh, and uh, other as it was here. Yeah. Uh, one, five, seven, ten. Uh, here we have uh, nine is the uh, nitrogen, nine in the uh, uh, N terminus. Then we have uh, here, then again, come back. As you can see, the uh, only, only heavy, heavy atoms are restrained. Of course, uh, you, uh, if you want to restrain, for instance, a ligand, then in its topology, you just need to define uh, some position restraint section when uh, you can specify which atom to be restrained by uh, with uh, what uh, force constant. I think it's now fair enough. Okay, uh, the the simulation uh, the trend has finished. I just, uh, uh, forgot to uh, emphasize that we have defined uh, temperature annealing, which means that the Temperature was linearly from the zero to thirty uh, to three hundred ten second uh, picosecond of the of the simulation. Now we can see how temperature how the temperature goes. G energy minus F E Q P R E D R N we just want to see the uh, the the temperature of the system here. Of course, you can plot uh, the uh, temperature of protein of all 
thermostat uh, groups defined here, but uh, let's see that the average temperature here, as uh, you mentioned, the um, you may mention that uh, here you can use either this the, the number or the the name of the coin uh, you we want to plot uh, uh, and just let me uh, temperature cold temperature uh, and this is 16 okay and we just need to take temperature uh grade temperature xvg uh, as you we start from uh two kelvins and linearly increasing the temperature up to uh, 310 degrees. Yeah, you can oscillate and so on and so on. Uh, the, on average, it can be calculated is uh, uh, 310. <sighs> okay, then uh, we need to run equilibration means that we will a q uh, just a moment in a uh, and ntp i don't have such a file cp aqtpr mdp uh, aq and pt MDP. So let's uh, modify that. Uh, we will uh, we will not use annealing protocol. We can set ICO or just delete it. Uh, Okay, then uh, we will need some pressure pressure coupling. Mm, it is not not a, a template. Let me let me take it from MDP uh, files. I don't I minimize uh, minimize the MD. Uh, aq dot n t dot mdp or in a q n p t n p t coupling and and uh, if your system is uh, unstable you can put there and send send B and send here as well. Uh, if you you want to use the, uh, the in this case the uh, velocities from the input file will be will be used and uh, again let's uh, do some uh, shum bigger the system longer than the equilibration runs do it for uh, 500 seconds and again gmx ground pp minus f q and pt we take uh, as a coordinates uh, uh, the output of the other uh, uh, the, uh, the previous simulation, uh, then to polar and minus O and PT 
and PT uh, AQ PT. And uh, again, we can uh, just take this. Uh, job file here and modify it okay em uh, aq and sh t s h okay there is a version hey, let's Let's try to run it on 16 nodes. Let, let, and here we have NPT and NPT. I uh, want to tell you that uh, def NM by default looks for uh, set TPR file and all output files, base names, have uh, this uh, are equal to this string. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is an option uh, NPT NPT SH at uh, again, we'll see that due to reserved resources uh oh i think i misspelled the uh the name of the script of the of the uh the second the second file name i think invalid uh invalid okay yeah and P yes okay this is just a typo yeah yeah okay. um, e q n t s h just correct it uh, here uh, yeah is batch a q n p t dot s h uh, let's look at it again uh, and uh, the production run uh, is uh, just uh, you need to uh, Set the proper uh, NPT NP uh, MDP production MDP. Uh, what what we need here? We just uh, for sampling. We just put here. Uh, very scale and uh, uh, Raman mm -hmm. and uh, of course adjust the steps you need for instance uh, some five Hundred nanoseconds, I think. Okay. Yes, five hundred nanoseconds. Of course, uh, for production run, it's better to to test uh, to, to to find the the maximum nodes at which the simulation scales, and uh, in order to have the uh, uh, good uh, good performance of the simulation. Mm. Uh, we have already simulated uh, the system and you can see the RMSD of the protein uh, here for 500. Now there are some conformational changes here. Uh, it is useful uh, to see the RMSD of the pocket. Mm -hmm. This is the interaction act, the side here. This is because it's an enzyme. 
and uh, you can look at uh, root mean square fluctuations residual by residual uh, and of course you can see here uh, that there are some uh, some uh, flexible parts and other that are uh, that uh, uh, don't fluctuate much here with the red points. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. This analysis, by the way, is done by uh, Stoyan. Uh, and uh, here uh, you, you can see the, the uh, generation radius. Uh, as far as I remember, the, the crystallographic one is uh, uh, round one. I can't remember it exactly. Uh, the inertia momentum uh, production, the uh, temperature, uh, energy, total energy and pressure in the production, the average density uh, here. Uh, and uh, there can be uh, done many, many other things, but uh, unfortunately, it might be that I, I, I was presenting too slowly, but I hope that uh, uh, at least uh, people who are not familiar with running uh, MDC are satisfied. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, two more questions if, you, if we've got. If okay. As in, so, so one of the questions was, um, so if, if so, someone, if you observe mutation of alanine, alanine the protein that's been previously equilibrated in an unmutate, would you have to re equilibrate this? taking place. Ah, uh, one alanine mutations for oh, which is equilibrated in unmutated it states. We need to equilibrate. Uh, again after mutation uh, if if you mean uh, again to warm up the system it is not uh, i think ah no no uh, you will put again yeah it's better to equilibrate. Mm -hmm. just keep the keep the molecule restraint and then yeah okay. it, it's better like that yeah okay and and the other question was about um, <clears throat> how do you, when you uh, put in a, a job submission file, when you request a particular hardware, how does that necessarily map onto nodes, say process for, processes per node, cores per processor, per per core? Uh, that's that's going to be that's going to depend on machine, really. Yes, yes, it 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 depends. It depends on the machine, but uh, uh, there are some. Uh, suggestions even even by uh, that uh, the, the the optimal uh, number of threads to be used per MPI process is uh, two and six as far as I remember yeah and then in when you if you want to uh, utilize all uh, threads, uh, all threads in the mm, in the socket or uh, on the node, mm. you to set appropriate number of MPI processes uh, per per node, which means per cores, mm -hmm. and then core cores per processor. No, if you know the number of uh, uh, the, the 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 number of cores in the node, it's already it's already adjusted. Mm -hmm. And then uh, threads, uh, threads per core, uh, you should experiment. It's better uh, not, not to oversubscribe uh, the, the, the hardware per threads. Mm. And as well, uh, uh, in many of the cases, it's better to pin uh, to, to thread uh, just to keep the, to, to satisfy the data locality requirement. What uh, what else? Uh, 
I think I think that's about it. I mean, I suppose the only thing I one thing I spotted in your job submission scripts or for the machine you're using is that you spec. I think you specify. Uh, I think you specified a number of cores per node that you're going to use. Cores per node that you're going to use. And I, think, and I guess yeah. that's something you can. But on certain machines, that's something. You Yes, yes, of course. But uh, yeah, it's it's better to consider the uh, upscaling of the code, just just to yeah to play something with it to see how how it behaves on the on the system. Uh, as uh, we have experimented, uh, the Gromax behaves very well even on KNL mm -hmm. uh, on on. Uh, Processors, the Xeon five we got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it deals quite quite well with many threads. Yeah, uh, I think that's about it then. Um, thank you very much.